Planking is one of my favorite parts of, the, of being in this business. Hello. See, this plank, the bottom wants to come out. On that plank, the top wants to come out. That's why we tighten the bottom first. So from mixing glue to clean up was one hour flat. Same here. We couldn't drill because there's stuff in the way. Okay. So we just abandoned that idea. Collision, corrosion, fire, and well, how, how do you get the rot? I mean, like fungus. It's June 25th, Wednesday. Here visiting with Doug Shumpert. Roger that. Um, Master this is our ships right and gluer. Gluer. We're, uh, we're, we glue the seams as we go, and the plank above and below get the same treatment. The first thing you do is you wet this edge out, and of course the butts double saturate them with straight epoxy. That way you're sure that the, the epoxy is getting into the wood. And you come back with a thickened mix of epoxy and microfibers. And this will create a real superior bond. Stronger than the wood itself, as they say. Planking is one of my favorite parts of, the, of being in this business because I, I like the technology. Um, I like taking a two-dimensional piece and twisting it and bending it. And also, the planks are what make the boat. You know, <laughs> once you get all the other stuff done, it's time to put the planks on, so. We are going to install a plank right now. Hello. back up here. Pretty small clamps. Oh yes. All right now. You good Clint? Yep. What you do is you're trying to get the butts tight first. And uh, so that so they don't move on you. You're not trying to crank them in. Uh, against the force of the plank bending outward. So that butt's pulled in, and then you start bending the plank. Uh, the plank here. So this holding it in. <coughs> this clamp isn't much more than for safety. We're not going to put a lot of pressure on it. And then this clamp, just take the weight of the plank. See how it's sit resting on the clamp? All right. Remember how we were um, talking about our our butt spacement? How we could cheat a little bit because of that plate? Okay, ready, Quinn? Ready. Go. Not so hard, just a little bit. Okay. One more. That's good. Okay, go inside and hand me some bolts out. Okay, these are stainless bolts because they're going to be bolted to a stainless plate. Right. Otherwise, you'd have a dissimilar metals issue. Yeah. Now, stainless and bronze, this far above the waterline, yeah, they get along okay. See, this plank, the bottom wants to come out. On that plank, the top wants to come out. That's why we tighten the bottom first. Now, hold on, Clint. Okay. Is that bottom one super tight or no. just? Oh, Okay, just get the other ones kind of sort of snug, okay. but don't tighten them. Okay. So from 
mixing glue to clean up with one hour flat. Not bad. That's after everything, after yeah. all the up and downs. You know. Drill, painted. No, because I mean. Processes for these is clean will go inside, and after we knock out the old rivets, clean it up there, and he comes out with a quarter inch bit, and I go back in here with a counterbore for the plug. Right. Now the same thing's going on. I knock the bolts in. He puts the nuts on, tightens. Now this plank up forward. It didn't take as long to put in because it was mostly put in with screws. Same with this one. See how this is screwed? Because you couldn't put a rivet up there or a bolt because there's timber behind there. So the boat was originally riveted. Now in many places it's going to be bolted. Yep. But now in the bottom, the first 10 courses, mostly it was screwed. Yeah, because there was no way to get anything in there because it was too thick. Okay. But you remember we started bolting as we went up. As we come up out of the bills past the floor timbers. And and the bottom down in the bills was screwed also originally because the build is like this, so you couldn't get in there to paint the rivets over. Same here. We couldn't drill because there's stuff in the way. Okay. So we just abandoned that idea. There's a bulkhead here, stuff in the way. Right. So we're using screws, which is what 99% of the boats are built with. <laughs> Don't forget, all this stuff eventually is going to be behind the ceiling planks. Yes. So it won't matter. Collision, corrosion, fire, and well, how, how do you get the rot? I mean, like fungus? Well, fungus and, and yeah. Boats built like this, how does this plank ever rot? Because if it's built traditionally and the sun dries the seam out and it cracks it, and you get night after night of dew running down the hull, you create an environment that's really good for fungus to grow. This is a nice long course, a nice long uh, plank as well. Always try to put the longest planks you can, no matter what else is going on in your life. The wood just relaxed once you cut it away from that big chunk of that tree. Oh, okay, I see. But because it was there before, when you wedge it up, it goes right in because of its long length. Okay. You know, try bending a two foot long two by four. <laughs> Tough, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when this plank starts to move, tries to move out, which yeah. of course it won't be able to, you'll see in a second here, when he tightens that bolt, he's gonna pull this up. When we're putting this plank in, we use that for wedging. Okay. So this section comes out, and then we're clear all the way to the stern for wedging. Okay. And when the third course comes in, we take this plank out. You see over there, that blocking there between the shelf and the deck? And that those, little block? Yeah, and those two big holes in the deck? Yeah. Same over here? Yeah. That's where that big mooring cleat went. Yes. Well, the block under here, blocks under here were just terrible. So we made a new one and fitted it before we put the planks on. Okay, so probably it's behind that, there? Huh? It's behind there? No, it's down on the bench. I'll show it to you. Oh, okay. We'll probably put it in tomorrow. Oh, okay. You're not put in yet. Okay, gotcha. well, A lot of this stuff is getting it glued so the next day you can get all this stuff out of your way to do what you have to do. Gotcha. For instance, tomorrow, this little section of planking right here, okay. we'll cut that out because it'll be in the way of our new plank, see? Okay, nice. And we got about a, say, four or five foot section similar on the other side. That's still on. Yeah, when we use that, when we're putting this plank in, we use that for wedging. 
How are you liking how all the how these two first courses went in? And look, they look beautiful sitting in there. I love it. I mean, look at it. Well, of course where, that. I mean, where's that going to go? Yeah. Where's that going? I don't know. Against a rock, it's probably a little different. Yeah. Now, or notice, another boat. Notice the extra thickness here. Yes. Barely, but yes, you're gonna have to shave well, that down. Well, this side of the boat was thinner than the other side. So what we did is we averaged everything, made these planks an inch and an eighth. And when you when you get all these planks in and you start to shape this, you see that tumble hole that we have back there? Mm -hmm. We have to maintain that. So we we made the planks thicker, which is probably a little thicker than they were originally, just about an inch and an eighth. See this, we're almost done with yeah. all this crazy bolting and scratching and right. drilling and tapping. Yeah. So, uh, from here on, it's pretty much a straightforward planking job. And again, we'll see the installation is only about an hour. Yeah. No, it's all, all the fitting and right. tweaking and sizing and shaping.